TCU with a record of 22 and 12, coached by Ryan Odom. And away we go here in Brooklyn. Mahorchic could not get it. And VCU the other way. Bearstow going inside. The big man's got it. And will hook it home. Two inside by Christian Furman. And driving and slicing inside and trying to get it was Jackson. Tip up try wouldn't go. DeMichael's got the ball. Here come the Dukes the other way. And kicks it out. Day, day, Grant three. Can score in the mid range. He's tough to defend. DeMichael, a floater on the fly. Got his uh, miss. It's picked up right there by Mahorchik. And he puts it up and in. Now here is from Pittsburgh, the Duquesne Dukes. And outside, Clark with the three. That's a long time. <laughs> it is a long time, Kevin. So a lot in front of him. DeMichael goes inside. Now they pass it around. The long shot will go. Beautiful stroke right there. Grant. He's got two threes in a row. And that's the inside-outside game we've been talking about. You've got to respect the ability of a guy like Dixon to score inside, and then that leaves the outside shooters open. It's Shulga on top. He transferred from Utah State. Dan just mentioned that, trying to weave. He was defended by Clark. Kicks it out in the corner, and the three is in by Kwani Kwani. And you can't be sloppy with the ball in a game like this. Clark trying to pierce and does with the hesitation. Rejected inside. Kwani got a hand on it. He is a scorer, and in this game, it looks like he's going to need to score. Mahorchich inside. What a traffic, but he hits it to go. Neches, Rogier. Shot clock at seven, works on Bell, tries to take it across the lane, does, and nails the shot. Duquesne has had the most wins this season in 62 years. Three, card! Hit the deck, makes it fly through. Is their biggest this afternoon. First, it's Grant. Here is Jackson with a three. Leaping rebound by Clark. And that's a settle. The ball doesn't move. It stays on one side of the court. And you take a long jump shot by a guy who's not a great percentage three-point shooter. That's a Rozier three from the corner. And VCU in their two wins. The last two wins here shot over 50% both games. 20%, as Dan just said, and A.J. with a drive inside, slithering the shot up and in. Pretty play, Bama Seal. You know the team from their final four back in... 2011 and a big upset of Duke. Back in the early 2000s, they go inside. Netches got the ball with a good feed on top from Day Day Grant. Chiseling into the paint. Here still. Wide open lane and he'll drop the anvil inside. And again, single digits on the shot clock and a lot of congestion in the paint and gets the shot away. And it was collected in there by Dixon out. Netches three. Good! Duquesne, 6 of 11 from 3. Bama seal the drive to Michael defends. And outside, Shulga. His triple is down. Both with good handles. Both Grant and Clark. Here's a long shot. Rebound to Michael. Grabs it. Keeps it alive. Dixon is open underneath with a good fake. Well, remember, one of the reasons that VCU was the number four seed in this tournament, or no, excuse me, the number five seed in this tournament, is they lost a couple of games at the end of the season, and one of them was to Duquesne. To Michael. It's the biggest lead for VCU, this, or rather for a Duquesne this afternoon. They've now had five different guys make a three-point pass. <laughs> Their three-point shooting, the Dukes, Incredible. Their biggest lead now of 18. 7 of 13 shooting the threes. The team in blue. The team in white driving. Banasil. And they get it off here to Day Day Grant, who's double. And somehow gets a pass cross court. Look at the try. And look at the rejection inside by Furman. And picked up inside. And Duquesne starter Trey Williams has been out. Shoulder issue for him, DeMichael trying to scoop. Bama Seals defense was there. Retrieved by Clark. Pops the chop. That was deflected. Max Shulga is going to inbound the ball. Bama Seal drives that baseline and goes up hard. Kevin, in all the talk we've been doing about VCU nine-point game, it was at 18, so the deficit cut in half. Bama Seal with it. Jackson with a three. Big time.
game shot. Ten nothing run by VCU, the team with the ball right now. And approaching 11 to play, poked away that time by Clark. Picked up by Rozier. Clark at the other end. Oh, the reverse is in. It's Rozier. Seven minutes to go. Natchez is in. Oh, cutting was Grant. He was pickpocketed. Jackson flies. Corner. Bamazil three. Good! David Dixon. Well, Grant has yet to score in the second half. And really nice job by Bearstow dropping down. And we talked about the ability to score easily in transition. Dixon on top. On the wing. Natchez. He's open. He fires. Got it! It's a big time three. That's a great job by Clark stealing the ball, but with the pressure he was under on that fast break, he just needed to lay it in. Oh, Shulga hits the shot. Jimmy Clark's got the ball. And it's off to D.D. Green, who goes inside to Dixon. Fouled on the play, knocked away, shot clock violation. And Jackson takes it the other way. DeMichael is back in, three fouls on him. Luol to Jackson. Jackson will pop a three. Big shot. Three-point game again, 2-10 to go. Clark. Two to fire inside. It's DeMichael. Got it on the doorstep. The winner makes the tournament. The loser goes home. Every possession, every shot, every score meaning so much. He scored five points today, Kevin, all of them from the free throw line. And quickly the other way goes up. Jackson Long, three on the fly, and he got it to drop. Laces one through, four-point game, 9.9 .9 on the clock. Rams inbound. Zeros on the clock, and that's all she wrote. First time in 47 years, Duquesne is going to the NCAA championship.